Hello everyone, this is George Mashiga and Trade to Live. Folks, in this video, I want to talk about something called Drawdown. You guys hear me talk about the Drawdown in the room quite often. I have a feeling not many people understand what a Drawdown means, so I just want to spend a couple of minutes here explaining to everyone what is Drawdown and how important it is uh, for any uh, system. When you're evaluating a performance of a trading system, the one of the first statistics that you have to look at should be drawn on. Let me explain what that is and how we calculate it. In my trend hunter strategy right now, if I click on a performance and if I move down a trade station, you could see it says maximum drawdown is $38.99, just about $4,000. Okay, what does this mean? How do we arrive to that drawdown figure? Let me give you hypothetical performance. This is just a hypothetical performance. Okay, let's see you have. Uh, a trading account that's starting at ten thousand dollars and you have a strategy that you you're pretty successful at and here are the results of the strategy on a monthly basis let's say month number one the strategy gave you a thousand dollars in profit okay so your total equity became eleven thousand dollars month number two five hundred dollars your equity went up to another five hundred dollars so eleven thousand five hundred and you can see the performance of the strategy end of the year you have seventeen thousand seven hundred dollars in total equity that means you have a profit of 7700 because you started with 10000 now the question is what is the maximum drawdown of the strategy can anybody tell me what is the maximum drawdown of the strategy go ahead and figure out if you can and, and pause the tape uh, uh, i'm saying tape right that that dates me right here uh, pause uh, pa pause the video and see if you can figure out what the drawdown is Meanwhile, let me continue and explain to you exactly how we, do, uh, how we drive to that. The way we drive the maximum drawdown is we look at the maximum, the, the total equity, and we take the highest equity before it starts to go lower. In this case, went up from 11,000, 11,500, 13,5, then aha, it went down. So 13,500 is in high equity, right? High watermark, as we call that. Then it starts to go lower. We'll see what is the lowest number before it starts moving higher again right it went down to 12 5 13 11 8 which is below 12 5 right 11 6 which is still even below that then it went up 13 3 then 13 8 now once we pass this high watermark we'll look at the lowest reading between this two high watermarks from 13 500 13 8 800 the lowest reading is 11,600 right now my worst drawdown in this period is 13,500. Let me do this right here, right? Minus 11,600, which gives me minus $1,900. That's my worst drawdown in this period. Okay, that means my equity went down. What was the most my equity had a, had a movement and a downside before moving up and making a new high watermark? from 13.5, 13.8 was 1,900. Now, let's continue. We started making money again, 13.8, 15.8, moving higher, you're doing great here, 69, and then we started moving lower again. So let's write it down again. That's new high water mark. Now it started to equity move lower from 69 to 15.4, went up a little bit, but went down again, 14.5, that's lower low, $14,700. Now we lost another 900 that brought us down to 13.8. That's the lowest reading before it started to go higher all the way to above 69. So the lowest reading is 13,800. Now, what is the difference between this high watermark and this low watermark, right? Between uh, b before we're making a higher high. So 16,900 minus 13,800. That gives me minus $3,100. Okay. Now, after that, of course, we see that the equity kept going higher and higher. So I have two drawdowns. One was $1,900. The, the second one was $3,100. So my maximum drawdown is negative $3,100. Okay. So maximum drawdown is the highest number that you can find when you look at highest high and the second highest high, you look at the low number between them. Okay? That is the maximum drawdown. Well, basically, uh, what I'm looking for is, when I'm trading this, this strategy, what was the most my equity moving lower before moving higher? Let's say you started trading right around here. Let's say this was your first month. 
right? You started instead of being your 11th month, your first month. Also, on your last money, right? Let's say this is, I'm sorry, 12 months was your first month. First month, you would have down $1,500, made $700, down $1,600, made $200, down $900. You end up losing $3,100. If you started trading in 12 months, you would have been down $3,100 in your account. The reason you didn't feel this much here, it's because you started from here and you made money, then you lost money, then you made money, you lost money, and you made money. But if you started trading from the first month, which was a losing month, right, you would have encountered a $3,100 loss, and that would really been felt. It would have been 30% equity drawdown for you if you're starting with $10,000. So therefore, it is very important for me to know what is the maximum drawdown when we are evaluating a trading strategy. That is the most number one statistics for me when I evaluate the trading methodology or strategy because... I have to be ready for it. I have to say, okay, I have to have enough money in the account to count for that drawdown. Okay, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you want to discuss some more, come into the trading room, and we will be more than glad to discuss them a little bit further. Again, this is George Pershing Trade to Live. Have a wonderful, profitable trading day. Bye-bye.